But all right, let's okay, let's move on from that. Um, let's go to topic number two, which is um, have you ever been catfished? Now, have you ever been catfished or have you done a little bit of catfishing? And I mean, we're adults here, we're grown. It's okay to talk about it if you done a little catfishing, because I've done it, you know. We talk about me a little bit later. <laughs> So, I'm just thinking about the stories that Ash is gonna say about her being catfished. Oh, no, oh no, no. God, no! Let's plenty. not talk about that, please. I got plenty. Oh no, no, no! I ain't gonna talk about that because please, you know, that's, talk about y'all that. probably tired of hearing that story. Like, <laughs> I, I got plenty please. of catfish. I got plenty of catfish stories. I almost got catfished today by a man that work at IGA, and thank God he don't wear his mask properly. Which you know you're supposed to wear your mask like over your nose and over your mouth. But this fool, he was drunk because I could kind of smell, you know, the alcohol on it. So his mask was kind of like down here. So as he was talking, he grabbed my hand and went to kiss my hand and shit like I'm a princess or some shit like that. And then when, as he was coming back up, I said, oh, he missing some teeth. I was like, you know how I feel about teeth. Catfish. But anyway. Head in the water. Yeah. So have you guys ever been catfish? Period. High school, yes. college. I have been catfished. I've never been a catfish, but I've been catfished. Um, wow. So met this. I was in high school. Met this girl. Okay. Um, met this girl on what was it? I think it was MySpace, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, and um, yeah, this is. I mean, I'm 27. It's 10 years ago, so it might have never. Yeah, because I was like, well, a, mine go back further than that, so. <laughs> But yeah, it was um I was catfish and she was you know it's really it's a really pretty girl or whatever or at least her pictures were, and um it looked real the profile looked real because it was a lot of pictures of her you know what I'm saying that's what I looked for so a lot of pictures of her she had like 150 200 pictures on her face and um or something like that and so I tried to you know she said she was from Charlotte or whatever and I'm trying to like video chat. This is when Uvu was just getting hot. Oh, and, I remember that. Yeah, like, and so I was like, man, it's Uvu. I got a laptop. Like, we could just talk. You know what I'm saying? And she was, she always came up with, just like the TV show, she always came up and with some type of, yeah, and, and then she would be like, oh, yeah, like, let's do it now. And for some reason, her camera wouldn't work. For some reason, her computer wouldn't work, something like that. So I'm like, okay, you starting to be us. And I told her, I was like, man, you got you really have an ultimatum. Like we make we video chat or you just don't hear from me no more. And um she was like, fine. And she video chatted me. And she was just <laughs> the dramatic pause. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, because it's just I'm just like, bro, I don't, I'm so mad at this. But like she was just not her <laughs> at all. <laughs> Okay, okay. But the thing is, she looked like her, but it was she took her cousin pictures. Hold on. So what did you thought? I need to know what you thought she looked like, and then I need to know what she did look like. No, no, no. I no thought what she actually showed him. Oh, okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. Her pictures were just light-skinned girl, nice hair, very beautiful, nice shape, things of that nature. She had a beautiful smile and everything. Um, um, Her, (laughs) her actual self <laughs> was she was still cute but she just like not it wasn't the picture <laughs> okay so what was what was the feature you know like, what it was you know exactly what it was i want it i want him to say it yeah say it daniel what say it what, what, what do you think it is what do you think it is uh what? she probably was a bg you know how many I'm a BD. Like, you know, you know how many big girls are there? there are no, some, a there big dude. Big, there are some big do not want big girls. I get that. And that wasn't the problem for me. She was a BG, but that wasn't the problem for me. <laughs> what was the problem for? wasn't her weight. The problem wasn't her weight. Was she just wasn't for? she wasn't aesthetically pleasing at all. <laughs> he and, got the correct oh, growler. Hey, look, look there you go. It's trying to be safe right now. When I'm trying to be nice. This album, he don't want nobody. No, no, no. Count the dance. Count the Look, look. No, I, don't be nice. Just say what it was. What, she was what, ugly. What turned you off? She didn't take care of her hair. Like it was. And, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. I gave it a chance. I gave it, and this is what bothered me about her hair. I gave it a chance. God is cold and enough. Every time we video chatted after that, we video chatted like two or three times after that. 
Oh, so you did try to get rich. Yeah. I tried. That's what I'm saying. Like the, the size wasn't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like that. I've I dated big girls in the past. Like that wasn't nothing. But it just she didn't it just she was one of those. You know, our size. We got to, we got to carry ourselves a certain way. Absolutely. We have to carry ourselves a certain Absolutely. way. As men, as women, you well, over two fifty. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta you you, you over the three hundred mark. Like you got to carry yourself a certain way. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody does. But Courtney out here talking like she agreeing, like she a, a, a person of big She's been a BG in like two damn years. She's talking about we do. We do. We do. But you gotta you a reform BG. Like she's not we do. Nah, I ain't scared of this story at all. Uh Damien. I just I, I ain't scared. I just don't want to I don't want to be rude. You know what I'm saying? But you're not like, being rude, you're saying what it is though. And that's just what it was. Like she I didn't also take want to know something, Daniel. What's up? What was her complexion? She was like in between, well, in between you and Ashley. Like, what? not like the way that you look right now on this camera, because you do look had a light skin. Like, <laughs> she was in between, she was in between y'all. Like, she was like caramel, like the color that I guess that you that you claim to be. Okay. Um. Yeah. Disclaimer for people who haven't seen the show: I'm not this like. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like it, the compassion didn't bother me. It's just like you you got to take care of yourself as a big person. And right. if I'm if I'm doing that, and in high school I was really big. I was like three thirty. You know what I'm saying? Like for for high school student, that's big. So like, if I'm trying to do that, if I'm trying to take care of myself, you know what I'm saying? Like you can do a little more. Well, first off, so, you supposed with the stereotypes, you got to go above and beyond when you are overweight. You, you know, you have to I'm go above you. and beyond. You know, so uh, which is. You know how um Courtney... I ain't dancing around the words. I'm trying to find them. <laughs> <laughs> you know how Courtney, you don't like uh the oh you're pretty for uh your complexion. Oh you're pretty for a brown, brown skin girl. You know some stuff like that. So you know I get the oh you have a cute face. Uh, you know shit like that. But um I get what you're saying. Yeah, we do have to go above and beyond. You know when you're not. You know whatever. But um. Right. Courtney, and, and, and like I said, to anybody, to any person like me, like anybody that's that's hefty, like I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? So don't let me, don't I'm not saying like <laughs> shooting you know, shot. <laughs> no, I ain't shooting wanna, no shot. Then you don't want to get canceled, buddy. <laughs> that's what I don't want right now. This is kind of scary. But Look, now, album, album sales just, going up. They said I know the podcast. Cancel. <laughs> Right. Look, Daniel issues an apology. It goes back up, <laughs> but then they see another episode. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, that's just all it was. She just wasn't. She didn't take care of herself, and she wasn't aesthetically pleasing. Like, and that's just what it was. I'm not talking about physical features. As in, I'm talking about features that she could have changed. You could at least that she had. Hair, that she had. Right? She could have taken care of herself. Not nothing. That it was born. Like, what she? No, could've... it was nothing that was you know physical as far well physical as far as like you're born with this and things of that nature no absolutely right. not it's just simple things like you know just simple things you know? right. and then the fact yeah. that she lied to me that's big so you lied yeah. to me about who you are and i still tried to give it a chance like it just didn't work so how done. long was it how long were you in that catfish stage like, like how long four or five months oh that ain't bad because you know people been that shit for years I mean, yeah. but when you're a teenager, four or five months is a long time. It was, and it felt like a long time. It felt like a really long Especially time. Especially if he was trying to, hey, let's video, chat. let's Uvo, you know, like. And I didn't, it was a four or five months. I didn't ask to video chat for, it was at least like a month and a half, maybe two months. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, because I was trying to like, just get to know you on a, let's talk on the phone. Let's, you know what I'm saying, text. And then we'll, we'll get around that. But after a while, just like, okay, something's not adding up. You know what I'm saying? And if you're going to lie about this, what else are you lying about? You know? But yeah, that, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> uh, that's very interesting. We can't hear you. You can't hear me. You good no, now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, that's interesting. Um, I feel like she had a face. Huh? I feel like she had a face. What do you mean? The girl he's talking about, I feel like she had a face. Like, like you know, someone cute. like you know how someone ain't ugly, but they have a face. You know what I mean? Um, okay. Like okay, 
<laughs> I'm lost. Okay, so like you wouldn't be like like it's a person that's not gonna make you do a double take, right? It's not someone that you would necessarily call ugly, but they have a face. Like that's the best way to describe it. Like I'm trying to think of like a celebrity. If she can- yes, okay, I see what you're talking about. If like I said, if she would have done the, the you know what I'm saying the normal thing. Hi, like, Brush your hair. Uh, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Brush your hair. Yeah, so, like, I, I kind of want to go into that hair thing because behind the scenes, me and Courtney was talking about hair, you know. Okay, we was talking about hair. Or whatever. But what was it about the hair that just triggered you? Like, what, how, like... That was just what I remembered. Again, this was like 15 years ago. Keep her hair done. Yeah, like, that, that's just one of the things that I remember. I can't say specifically okay. what about her hair. Like, it's just... That was one of the things that it was just like, okay, you know, if, okay, if I'm going, if I'm planning to get on, maybe it's just me and that's just weird. If I'm planning to get on FaceTime with somebody and I had a little hair up here, I mean, I'm bald now, but if I had hair and it needed to be brushed, I'm going to brush my hair kind of before, because we're not to the point where I can see the worst of you yet. Right, right. You know that, what I'm saying? That, like, we're that not, waking up in the morning type right, the fresh face look. Exactly. We're not to the point where like, you know, we can talk while you on the toilet and I'm in the shower kind of thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, as an excuse, as an example, I'm just <laughs> right, saying right. like, I I would at least, you know, give him some, or at least wear a do-rag, wear a scarf. If your hair ain't done, like, that's just one of the things like that I remember that turned me off. You know what I'm saying? I know it's probably really shallow, but it's just like. No, because she knew better. I mean, women, we come on, like, we, we, you know you got to do even if you're not like a girly girl because I don't really consider myself a girly girl uh, even if you don't get your nails done like professionally or your feet done professionally you still got to do something too you still got to push them cuticle back you know and even if you're not like the the eyelash yeah. girl or the little chapstick on you still need to do something you know like to be visually appealing because Women, we give guys more chances and opportunities with the, oh, okay, well, he got a nice personality. No, men only attracted to us if they want to fuck us. Like, it's not like, well, she, the only way you're not face, like Courtney was saying, like, you're like, look good and they want to deal with you. It's like, if they just knew you, like, you just got a great personality. You're funny. Like, they, you was already their friend. There has like, to be the, something there. Yeah. There has to be something physical there upon meeting somebody. It's just like walking to the store and you see a fine woman or a fine man in the store, and you like, I would take him or her to bed. Like, you you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it has to be something there. Like, I'm not, I'm, not y'all know me. I'm not shallow by no means. You know what I'm saying? But it's just a simple fact of, there's got to be something about you that attracts me, that makes me tick, that makes Have me want to touch Have y'all ever been in a situation where a personality made that person more attractive to you? Yeah, plenty of time. Mm-hmm. Yep. Plenty of time. My, my, one of my exes, Cause like going back, looking at pictures and stuff, like I used, cause I used to call him like a stream bean. And I was like, and just looking at pictures, like he was just so odd. And then he, the glow up, like as you, the year passed, you'd be like, damn, he's fine. But he, oh, he wasn't always fine. You know, like, you know, and neither I was either, I, look you know. God almighty. It, neither was I, but I don't know. That, it'd be something like that glow up shit be real for real. Like Listen. when you look at past pictures and stuff and video, you'd be like, God, you know that was. Let me tell you, I deleted every picture before like 2018 or 16 on my Facebook and Instagram. Like <laughs> I did. I, I, I gotta go back and bruh, go back and, and redo some stuff. I looked I, at that stuff and I was like, no, I was ugly. Like I was effing ugly to me. Like to me, I did not like the way I looked. Now I feel you. She, I, feel you. I do the same thing. I, I don't delete nothing unless it's really, really, really bad. I, I, got but I, I, I feel you. I look back and I'm like, I don't even look the same to me. Me neither. My mom got this picture on her wall now that I've been begging her to take down. Or at least let me tape up a new face where mine was. She got a picture of me and my brother and her and at, at our church banquet. Man, like I'm literally like three shades darker because I was always in the sun. Like that's not a problem. I love chocolate mist, but like the way that I looked, I hated it. I looked so bad. I looked so bad to me. And everybody's like, "Oh, you're so handsome." My grandma got a picture. Oh, you're so handsome. And I'm like, "Oh my god." Courtney, what Please. about you? You had a catfish situation, or have you ever catfished? 
I feel like I catfished like when I was in high school, like beginning high school, like freshman year, where I was like on the AOL chats and stuff like that. <laughs> I, on 21. Uh, I feel like AOL I did chats. that, but as far as like like seriously, because you like when you was doing that shit, you knew it wasn't going nowhere. Like you was just no. doing that shit for fun. But I feel <laughs> like like really, I've never been catfished, and I've never catfished anyone. I don't think. Okay. Well, I have, I've been on both receiving ends, but um, we're not going to focus on me being catfish. We're going to focus on the me being a catfish. Uh, with, uh, with what Courtney said, it was back in like high school, uh, the AOA, AOL days, way before Wi-Fi, when you had the, the big ass computer monitor, you had to plug it into the computer. You it wasn't like you could walk over. Yeah. Like, and then you, <laughs> you, when you cut it on, you heard, you got mail, you know, like you heard that. And then basically, like, I just couldn't wait to come home from school, you know, do my chores, whatever. And then uh, go in the chat rooms because, like, it was just, like, different chat rooms and shit. And you could be anybody you wanted to be. Like, you really can kind of do that now because, you know, I don't know. But uh, you could just be anybody you want to be. And you was just meeting people from all over the world, like. And when I say all over the world, I'm from South Carolina. We're from South Carolina. Well, I'm from South Carolina. And, uh, you know, all over the world wouldn't be like uh, Spain or something like that. It'd probably, well, they had international chat rooms, but, you know, you just have, it would be rooms that that have names like um, I am a Scorpio. Or it, it just be chat room names like that. So you just be like, hey, what's up? And then you'd be like, hey, what's up? You know? And then, <sighs> let me tell you this right here. I don't watch the show Catfish anymore. I did stop watching that, but I kind of like uh, felt what people would say, like the real catfish. It's not the ones who doing it out of spite, like not the ones who somebody hurt their feelings and they was like, yeah, I'm going to get you. Like it was more like you just being friends with somebody and you, you were sent, huh? I said, like, you shouldn't have called me a fat ass Kelly Price. <laughs> right, right. Not that shit, <laughs> not that revenge type shit, but it was more like, you wouldn't send your real pictures because even back then, Stranger Danger was real. So you'd be like, well, actually, if Stranger Danger was real, why would you talk to them to begin with? You know, because it was fun, duh. And so you would send somebody else's picture, hence your cousin or a friend of somebody. And then uh, I used one of my cousin's friend's picture. And so, uh, but I let her know that I was sent using her picture. And the guy, he was like sending us stuff. And the reason why I say us, because I was a big girl, so I couldn't fit none of the skinny shit that he was sending, you know. Right, right. Like, listen, I got a book. I got a book. I can write a book like this over here. But I'll say this right here. The guys that I catfish, like, it's kind of weird because when it came all up, out and about, it was like, okay, well, I got some. Because the guy, he wanted to, like, fly to come see me. Like, it was so crazy. Like, I, I love this guy. I, I love him. I was, <laughs> I was just so weird. So you you're getting the confessions of a catfish right now, okay? Uh, I love him for real because his granddaddy died, and he was supposed his family was sending him a plane ticket to go to Florida to the granddaddy funeral. Do you know he rerouted that the come to South Carolina to come see me? And how I knew he was doing it because he kept asking me. He was like, because he was from Maryland. And he's just like, what you doing this weekend? I'm like, why? Because he was just like badgering me, like harassing me about my weekend. And I'm like, why you keep asking me about my weekend? Like, you know, and then I, it just clicked to me. I was like, I think he's coming to see me. And so what made, I was talking to my cousin and I was like, this is how I know whether or not if he's coming to see me. So I said, oh, I'm going out of town such and such uh, Saturday, you know, and then when I said that I was going out of town, he was like, no. I was like, what's wrong with you? He was like, yo, I was coming to see you. I was going to surprise you to come see you. And I was like, and that's when I had to do the do the uh, the sad shit. The, the sad music started playing, even whoever coming out. <laughs> I was like, look, I got something to tell you. I went in my room, shut the door, got on the floor, grabbed the pillow. I was like, look, I got something to tell you. <laughs> and I was like, that shit is real when they be like, I mean, it's me, but it's not me in the picture, but it's me. That shit is real. Meaning, 
everything that I was saying was true, but it's just not physically me, you know. Right. Shit just got out of hand. You. Shit got out of hand. Like you mm-hmm. start out doing it as fun, you know, like, oh, I ain't about to show him who I am, psycho, uh, predator, you know. But then you just start talking, then it go from the public room to the private room, like the AIM, AIM, whatever it was. So yeah, now you like email it to now, like now y'all talking on the phone, you know, <clears throat> stuff like that. And then of course, you know, you're giving like little bullshit excuses about video chatting and shit. But I will say this right here. My catfish story, plural, uh, <laughs> turned out, <laughs> turned out a little different. Because I actually was fake. I I don't think I'm Facebook friends with any of my catfish people now that I catfish. But yeah, I'm working on myself. Look, we all ain't shit at some point in our life. Okay. <laughs> uh, so me and my we were actually Facebook friends. Like, and I I got some success stories with my uh catfish people. Um, they're not all bad people. You know, um, I'm still looking for one guy, Charles. I'm looking for Charles. I have, I can't find him for shit. You're you know? legit, like, looking for him? Yeah, I want to keep up with the people that I, like, Courtney, I'm writing a book. Like, I, I, like, listen, people, certain people play certain parts in your life. You know, like, and I remember Charles, but I just can't find Charles for shit. Like, I've been trying to find. So, clearly, his, his Facebook name or his social media name is under some shit, like, where guys, like, post, like, uh, beat that, beat that bitch. Uh, you know, it ain't his real name, clearly, because I can't find it whatsoever. But like, I got success stories. Like, some of our catfish people, like truck successful truck drivers, owner operators, uh, principals, um, entrepreneurs. Like, yeah, I got friends that not catfish, but like you was talking about the AIM stuff. I got I got friends that I met on AIM. I got like two or three that I'm friends with Facebook now. Mm-hmm. We've been friends for like years since we was in high school. One, it's ironic. One actually that I met um, on AIM <laughs> was from it New was York. You guys, it was, and ended up moving to South Carolina. Oh, like yeah, and I actually met her in person as adults at the hospital by accident. <laughs> Listen, that, look, for real, y'all, it is me, but it's not, it's not me physically in the picture. The inner, the inner but side. Yeah, but like the talking on the phone, like you can't, I'm not that type of catfish where I was just making up, oh yeah, we stay in a two-story house and then, no, I was telling like real shit, like real nigga shit, like I was telling what was really going on, but uh, yeah, um, and I, you know, I used to love that guy, like for real, I'm not gonna call out his name, but I did just, what made me bring up this question was because I went looking for him two days ago. And oh, Lord, not too yeah, like two days ago, like I went looking for him. Um, because we are Facebook friends, but he loved to like delete his page all the time because like he's like doctoring, like he's like educated, educated. And he come a long way because he got kicked out of college and it was it was a lot. He got a success story too as well. But when I went look for him, I was like, damn, he still ain't activated his page. Because every time he activates his page, he do it like every like three years, he'll pop up on Facebook and, and, and message everybody like, hey, what's going on? You know. And he always reach out to me and he always like, I'm proud of you. And, you know, and I'm, I'm coming up on another milestone in, in my life. And so I was like, where is he? Where's my congratulations? I'm proud of you, you know, type stuff. And so I went looking for him and he still ain't activated his page. And, um, but I Googled him and he's in his, he's a principal. Like he's, you know, he's doing good for himself. But, uh, yeah, um. Catfishing ain't always bad. You guys, I just, that's what I'm saying. Catfishing ain't always bad. Sometimes you just got to give your catfisher, yeah, is it catfisher, catfishy? You got to give them an opportunity, a chance. You know, just, just talk to them. Just be friends with them, you know? Just be friends. As long as they ain't causing no harm or nothing, just be friends with them. Ah, ah. But I'm over that catfishing shit. I ain't doing that no more. Now, now we got to wear the mask and stuff. Now I'm getting catfished. So I guess God... I just can't find a man with teeth. Like, so I guess this is just my uh punishment from back in the day. Maybe, maybe, maybe God's trying to send you someone that just has to be a fixed record. Maybe that person doesn't realize that teeth is that important. Now you know every woman in this it is watching this right now is like, I don't need to fix no man. I shouldn't have to fix nothing. I know they about they typing I mean, right now. I, I can feel it. I get it, but I'm saying maybe that's as as Kiki, aka Michelle of the group would say, maybe that's your calling. 
to put somebody at the dentist? Maybe, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's what God has intended for you. Oh, God. I, I've been saying that. There's I said that. I, I said that about Ed. That's what I said. I said <laughs> I, I could have been the man that. that God has for you. <laughs> Did you just snort? <laughs> <laughs> again? Did you just snort again? <laughs> I'm loving oh. your face. You are not with Daniel just now. <laughs> Daniel, we're gonna, we're gonna never ever. Uh, I don't see how. Actually, Daniel, I actually have another situation for oh you. Oh my gosh! And okay. it involves nipple rings, tongue rings, ex stripper. All right, I know. I, I just, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, so let's move on to topic number three. What is the, wait. <laughs> we're, we're talking about it after. All right, okay. Okay, okay. Uh, 